Hello, and coming up today, I'm taking a look at Cast Magic. This is, I think, a returning deal, and it now features a new system that AppSumo are using, which is a one year plan. So, the very first tier, tier one, gets you one year of access rather than lifetime access. So, tier two is three years of access. You have to go to tier three to get lifetime access. Now, yes, this is a way of trying to protect both the buyers and the sellers from uh, deals shutting down too quickly because they can't afford the ongoing costs. It's a new thing. Let me know what you think to it down below. Is it a good idea? The plans themselves are uh, interestingly structured. So what Cast Magic does is you give it some audio and it transcribes it. And so you get a number of minutes per month. Tier one is 100, three, then it goes 300, 800, and it, at tier four, it's still 800. The unusual one is the number of seats. You only get one seat until tier four and it suddenly jumps from one seat to unlimited, which is a little bit strange, I think. And workspaces, again, it suddenly jumps to three. So a bit of a strange setup, but there we go. Let's dive in and show you what this can do. So when you first log in, you'll land on your content pipeline. This is a simple Kanban board to help you keep organized. So we've got the ideas section and I've added a couple of ideas, but if I now want to update this, I can change this to draft. And if we then go back to the pipeline, you can see it's updated here. We've got assigned to you, upcoming, completed and canceled. So it's a, a very simple way of just keeping track of your content workflow. If you get a uh, multi-seat, <clears throat> If you get this with multiple seats, you have the option then of assigning this out to different team members. How can you actually make use of this? You know, you've got the content plan. Once you've made the content, what do you do with it? Well, that's where the media library comes in. You can see I've got one imported. We'll come back to that in a second. The first thing you have to do is import your media, and that could be audio, or you could import via a video. And it says you can paste the link from YouTube, Vimeo, Reels, TikTok. The problem I found though is uh, being a YouTuber, I obviously have lots of YouTube videos. And at the moment, if I paste in a YouTube video, YouTube is blocking URL imports at this time. Now that seems to be a specific cast magic issue. I've got Minvo and I've got other tools, Tasia. They don't seem to have a problem downloading and transcribing the video. So it seems to be something that cast magic needs to resolve rather than that YouTube are specifically blocking everyone from doing the downloads. But not a problem because you can upload your files here. You can see there's also options of adding RSS feeds, Zapier and Zoom if you've got the integrations. And that I can see being super helpful if you are conducting an interview and you want to dump the interview straight in from Zoom straight into here. So once it's uploaded, you'll see the transcription status. I've uploaded this previous video I did uh, last week, Spock demo. It's completed, it tells you when it was created, and we can now go in and make use of the AI. So you see the video at the top. We've then got the transcription. I've told it who the speaker is. It's just me on this video, but this is great. It can identify multiple speakers. So if you're doing an interview and then you've got the back and forth, you can assign who's saying what. And if we go down, you can see it's got the full transcription. So this next section is where the AI kicks in. It's where you can create content. So it's created all this content for me automatically after it had uploaded the video. So we go down, it's come up with titles. You would upload your video to Cast Magic before publishing on YouTube. And it's given suggested titles for that. So if you're struggling to come up with a really good title, you've got the suggested titles. YouTube keywords, eh, whatever, not fussed about those. You've then got YouTube description, which is handy. You've got timestamp overview. It's come out with uh, the clips, hooks, and the timestamps of them. So it's got some suggestions there that you might want to pick out and use for promo material. It's come up with an email newsletter. So you could send this out if you had an email list. Uh, how you, MySpace community, now it's saying that because I assume that the, the default space that it's set up is MySpace. I don't think it's expecting me to post on MySpace if that website still is, even exists. But it's come up with this email. It's got five takeaways, call to action, don't stop, click on the affiliate link, blah, blah, blah. Um, we've got the key topics and bullets. Now, remember, this is just a, 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 one of my video reviews. But if this was a meeting summary or a discussion between two people or a group of people, this can be super helpful 
in giving you the topics that were covered, especially, you know, if you go for half an hour or so and you're having a chat, you can cover a lot of ground. YouTube to tweets. So it's given me some ideas that I can fire off. 10 discussion questions. Again, I guess this is prompting your thinking about how you might promote this or how does Spock utilize AI to improve the quality of testimonials by users? Click my video to find out. Uh, you've got the thread suggestions, conversation starters, and this final one, curiosity, values, hungry and more, actually is, is not a custom one that I've made. So they have a community set of prompts. So these are the prompts that get run. And so you've seen all these online and you can disable them, you can edit, you can remove them, but you can also explore community prompts. So if you go into the community prompts, they're ordered by the number of saves, and therefore how popular they are, I guess, when it was created, the source, what it is, the prompt, and you can simply click to add that to space and that will run on your content. And you see they've got custom newsletter, lead magnet, conversation starter. There's loads of different prompts for you to explore and you can always create your own. So that's the nice thing. You can create a new custom prompt, give it a name, put the prompt in and give it a sample. And then when you're running content, if you want, to, if you want the output, the AI output in a particular format, you would apply a custom prompt. Another nice feature is the magic chat. This allows you to talk to the recording. So it uses AI to help you pull out information. So some examples it's given are lessons learned, three fun facts, key themes, blog post. I'm gonna hit the blog post one. Or you can chat down the bottom here. You can chat and ask it your own questions. It says there's some limitations in terms of timestamps and pulling quotes, but I think it's gonna be a case of experiment with that and this can help you test out your custom prompts before saving them and automatically running them to things you upload. So after a few minutes, it's now use the context from the recording to write a 600 word blog post. So it's given us a heading and it's done a pretty good job. This would be a good start to a blog and then I'd probably go in and add more detail, but certainly to kickstart the process or if you just want a summary blog, this is a good option. It also has the ability to combine up to five recordings to create a long form article. I haven't tried that yet. My content doesn't really work that well, I don't think, with something like Cast Magic because I'm demoing software. But if you were doing educational content, uh, maybe you were doing podcasts with people all around a similar topic, so your podcast might be on business, for example, or marketing, whatever it is, you could upload them and it could create a long form piece of content, maybe taking lots of advice from all those different elements. So there you go. That's a quick demo and overview of Cast Magic. What do you think down below? Really keen to hear what you think about this new tiering system where you get a limited time period at the lower tiers and it's only lifetime at the higher tiers. If you want to check out the full deal info, I will put an affiliate link down below. Thanks for watching. See you on my next video.